Hey, hi everybody, welcome back to What Are We Doing, Seth? Today is a little bit on a serious level, you know, socially, okay? And it, it boils down to what I've always been talking about when it comes to uh, loving your thing first, what do we do as a race, as a culture, to see ourselves coming back to do things together, united, and all that good stuff, which we are really struggling to do. Did you guys watch the 66th uh, annual Grammy Awards? Was it a great show? Do you like it? Fantastic performance from Bonaboy. He represented as usual. Great performance. But uh, it seems <laughs> that was all he got. Great performances, right? And the real deal why they were there was to represent uh, Afrobeat and what it entails, the culture and everything that it brings. Uh, but uh, surprisingly, to a lot of people, the uh, award, the Grammys uh, for Best Artist and all of that, the category from Africa went to South Africa. Yeah, I mean, the, our big shots were there, all of them. We have Bonoboy, we have Davido, Higher Star, and we have Ashake. They were all there, at least one of them should take something or bring something home. And uh, in the midst of all of those names was uh, a young lady, I think uh, in her early 20s, uh, her name, Tyler, from South Africa. And uh, she's the one that won the award. It's interesting because uh, South Africa should be playing Nigeria uh, in the ongoing Nations Cup uh, in a couple of days' time. Uh, but here we are. Is that something we should talk about? Something to look out for? I know Nigerians will. I know I've got a lot of comments that Nigerians are like, we were robbed and blah, blah, blah. South Africa does not play Afrobeat per se. So here's the thing. And this is what I've been saying prior to this time. When it comes to what you have, you have to love it first. You have to love what you have in such a way that you don't care about anybody and whatever any other person says, especially if they don't come from your race. This is what I mean. I know you were all surprised that uh, Tyler won the award. You should have been one of those guys, right? Well, that's sentimental. You have to understand that the Grammy is, is business and the institution that owns Grammy is not your culture. We have to understand that. It's a foreign culture. It's a foreign idea. So now that Afrobeat is coming in strong, it's now a, mar a marketable tool musically all over the world. They couldn't help but, you know, bring a certain category that would suit into the narrative about Afrobeat, right? Now, but you still have to understand too that the people, the institution that owns this thing is not your race. You have to understand that. They don't care about your culture. They don't care about whatever... You, your, your history is. What they are concerned about is, hey, look, these guys are bringing in something new. All right, hip hop is gone. Almost, you know, out completely. Reggae, almost the same thing. So here comes Afrobeat. But if you want to for it to remain original, and this has always been my point, if you want your Afrobeat to stay original, you have to do your thing yourself. You have to recognize your product. You have to recognize the beauty of it, so you can keep the originality. Because if you allow another uh, person, another institution that is not your race, that doesn't understand your culture, you know what they're going to do with it? They're going to redefine it as to suit their way. And that's going to dilute what Afrobeat is all about. Now, here's the other part. It's political. It's political. Because the, uh, you are looking at it as, okay, you're making money. It's a, it's a general that people are beginning to accept and everything. But here's the thing, the white folks, the owners of the Grammys, they dictate who they will give the award to. Do you know that? I'm sure you do. All right. They brought in all of those artists, the Nigerian artists, Aya Star, Davido, Bonaboy, Ashake, and all the guys. You know why they did that? To bring the crowd, to bring attention. They just use you. Now, they were able to bring attention because the Grammys attract. So they have to do everything to, act, to bring attraction, you know, for all the right reasons for them, right? But they know who they're going to give the award to, politically and otherwise. And they gave it to South Africa. You know why? Because South Africa had white people, a lot of white people there. They are comfortable. The institution can relate better with white people around. South Africa is a base where a lot of white people that are there, you know, historically and otherwise. So, do you get what's going on here? I was reading an article from BBC about the future of Afrobeat. And guess who was on the page, cover page? I don't know if you guys saw it. It's Tyler. It's Tyler that was right there. What does that tell you? Apart from the fact that they want to be inclusive, all right? They want to make it more acceptable. They had to put someone that the skin color is a little bit different so that they can identify with it. And number two, from a country where they are more comfortable that they are white. 
there are white people there too and they are okay. Of course, you can always have the argument that, oh, no, not really. But go check it out. Okay? So, but here's the other part again. And if you continue like this and we don't try to have our own institution in Africa where you can identify your product and you deal with it, you hold it like it's your birthright and you build your own institution where you admonish, where you um, appreciate yourself of your own product, someone is going to take it from you. Gradually, they will take it away from you and do it the way they want. And before you know it, you sold your birthright because they're going to treat it the way they want. And it's not going to be the way you want it. All right? We as Africans should see how we can keep our culture, keep our products that we know that they want too. But we should be the one dictating it rather than allowing them to tell us what to do, tell us when they are supposed to recognize you, dictate everything to us. You're going to lose it. That is a typical example of where they brought in names that will bring the crowd. All those Nigerian artists, they will give you the platform to shine, to, to do everything. But when it comes to the real prize, they give it to someone else. It's going to happen again if we allow it. Africans should come together. And this is what I and this is what this program is all about. What are we doing, sir? Where I always talk about blacks should be able to recognize what they have, become united because we have products that the world needs. It is time for us as a culture, as a race, to stand up and cultivate the habit of loving one another, doing things together so that it will make them have no choice but to come and listen to us and we tell them what we want them to do. If we don't do that, Get ready to take this sh Yes, because they are going to dictate to you even on your own products. It's already happening all over Africa where they come and take your, uh, they take your resources and they tell you how to deal with your own resources. So it's not new. Let's have African awards. Let's do it as if it's the best thing that ever ha happened, regardless of what the Western world says or they want you to do. If you don't do it that way, I assure you it's going to be diluted. Whatever you have, they are going to take it and do it the way they want and maybe sell it back to you and dictate to you that you must buy it. So it's about time that we come together united and stop breaking ourselves down and allowing a foreign to come and dictate to you your own birthright, your own product. If you don't do it that way, uh, I'm sorry to say, if you don't recognize or wake up or if you have been ignoring, well, it is time for you to listen, act up because it's the same thing that's going to happen, okay? If you keep having the mentality that you can't move forward without them dictating to you, then please, can you tell me what slavery means? What are we doing, Seth? All right? The Grammy was nice, glittering as usual. All the stars were there. Bonaboy performed. Davido was there. I mean, everybody, the glitter, the glamour, whatever you have it, beautiful and everything. But it goes beyond all of that. It goes beyond that. Because even though they say we all vote, but you know how it is, it's political. They know who they're going to give the, the uh, awards to. They know. It's their, it's their game, not yours. Okay? Okay, so so Grammy came. Do you know when the, the, the names were called and they called uh, the South African name? Hey, don't get me wrong. I actually appreciate the fact that there's a talent in uh, in Tyler. The, it, she had a hit and all of that. Okay? I respect that. There's nothing wrong with her winning. That's her. But I'm talking about the organization. I'm talking about the system. I'm talking about the institution that actually dictates what they want to do because it's their thing. Okay? <laughs> so, but if you ask me, I think one of those guys should have won it. Bonaboy, Davido, you know, Ayasta, or Ashake. I think it's time that we just stand and pay the price to build an institution based in Africa, work for Africa, work for the culture, work for the race. If you don't put those things in place, you are ready to be placed second. You will always never be put as priority in anything. All right? Grammy's come and gone. I thought I should drop this. I want to hear your comments. What do you think? Do, don't we have a choice? Should we just allow it to just, you know, whatever they say we do? Because it's going to happen again. I know uh, Bonaboy uh, at some point uh, won an award last year or two years ago. I know everything. That's fine. But now the institution is beginning to recognize that Afrobeat is not just a flash in the pan. It's a movement. It's a new movement that is catching like fire all over the world. Bonaboy is, it's, I mean, there was a time he performed in New York. It's never been done by any African artist, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. The New York was sold out. Davido, O2 uh, in London, sold out. These guys are breaking boundaries. 
So but it's not a flash in the pan anymore. They're beginning to recognize it, okay? And other generals is coming in. There's Amampu and all of that, all right? So there's a fusion coming up. But you see, Afrobeat is different. It's superior. It's, that, I'm just, I, I mean, I, that, that's, that's the way it is. It's African, all right? But if you allow yourself to just be complacent and just look for the fame, you will get the fame, all right? All right? But that's for you individually. But for the general, for, but for the culture to stay, for Afrobeat to remain original, we have to love it first. We have to treat it the way you want other people to look at it. And that was how when Bobani came and reggae started coming up, they stayed to the game, not allowing external influence. It's time that we do the same thing too. This is a lesson for all of us. I hope we learned this time. Or else, just going to be the same question. What are we doing, sir? Talk to you again, folks. Let me get your comments on this one. For those that have subscribed, thank you so very much. Those who haven't, please share this video. Uh, drop your comments. Put the likes up. And please also subscribe so that you get more juice like this. All right? Thank you so much. Always remember, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Talk again with you folks. Bye-bye.